Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang basic anti-differentiation formulas or the basic integration formulas. Let's start with the indefinite integral. So the process of finding the antiderivative of a function f of x is the antidifferentiation or integration. So ito yung tawag natin sa process na gagawin natin all throughout the unit in integral calculus. So antidifferentiation pero mas common is integration. Okay? So let's say we have the integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus c. So, ang tawag natin dito sa sign na ito is the integral sign. Yung f of x natin is the integrand. Okay, so d of dx is the variable of integration. f of x is the integral or antiderivative of f of x. And c is the constant of integration. Pag sinabi natin indefinite integral, wala siyang definite na value. So, this is the general equation. Okay? So, let's say we have the function f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Then, if we get the derivative, f prime of x is equal to 4x plus 3. So, itong 4x plus 3 is the general equation of the slope of a line at any point on this curve. Now, kung kukunin natin ang uh, integral niya, babalik tayo natin ang process, babalik tayo rito sa original equation. So, we have integral of f of x dx, madalas hindi na sinasabi na with respect to x. So, integral of f of x dx is equal to integral of 4x plus 3 dx, so is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus c. So, bakit tayo meron ditong plus c? Dahil ang derivative ng constant is 0. So, kahit anong constant na ilagay natin dito, let's say plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and so on, or kahit negative pa yan, basta constant, ang derivative niya is 0. Kaya, kapag kinuha natin ang integral, lagi tayo maglalagay dito ng arbitrary constant. Let's proceed with the basic integration formulas. So, in number 1, integral of dx is equal to x plus arbitrary constant c. Next, ito yung medyo common sa lahat na madalas na nagagamit. Integral of x to the n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So, for example, we have integral of x dx is equal to x raised to 1 plus 1 dahil ang exponent natin ng x dito is 1. Okay, kaya meron tayong x raised to 1 and then plus 1 over 1 plus 1 is equal to x square over 2 at lalagyan lang natin siya ng arbitrary constant c. Okay? Next, let's have integral of x cubed dx. So, ang n natin dito is 3 because the exponent of x is 3. Okay? So, we have uh, x raised to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 is equal to x to the 4th over 4 plus c. Okay? So, yun ang first two basic integration formulas. Next, the second one, we have integral of c times f of x dx is equal to c integral of f of x dx plus c. Okay, so halos katulad din ito ng differentiation formulas natin wherein kapag kinuha natin ang derivative of uh, a constant times a function is nilalabas natin yung constant. Okay, so katulad din siya nito. Again, integral of c times f of x dx is equal to c integral of f of x dx plus c. For example, we have integral of 2x dx is equal to, ilabas natin yung constant. Okay, so magiging 2 integral of x dx and then i-apply natin yung formula number 2. So we have uh, is equal to 2 times. Okay, so x here, the exponent is 1, kaya x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 times x square over 2. So cancel yung 2 ang matitira is x squared plus c. Next, we have the integral of f of x plus and minus g of x plus and minus and so on dx is equal to integral of f of x dx plus and minus integral of g of x dx plus and minus and so on. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Pareho lang din siya nung sa derivative. Kapag kinuha natin ang derivative ng uh, sum and difference of two or more functions, kukunin natin ang derivative ng bawat term. So, kapag kukunin natin ang integral, syempre kukunin natin ang integral ng bawat term. So, for example, we have integral of quantity for x plus 3 dx. Ito yung example natin kanina is equal to integral of 4x dx. Ito yon, Okay? Syempre, dinisribute natin yung dx, kaya integral of 4x dx. 
plus integral of 3 dx is equal to so using the previous formula ilalabas natin yung constant kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 4 integral of x dx plus ilalabas din natin yung constant 3 integral of dx so we have here 4 times integral of x dx is x square plus 2 so hindi kaagad ikaw maglalagay ng c isa lang yung ilalagay nating arbitrary constant dito so plus 3 integral of dx is 3 times integral of dx is x. Okay? And then, maglagay ka na ng plus c. So, the last step, pwede natin i-cancel yung 4 at saka 2. So, matitira is 2x square plus 3x plus c. Let's proceed with the examples. Number 1, evaluate integral of 8x dx. So, we have here, integral of 8x dx is equal to, ilabas yung constant, we have 8 integral of x dx is equal to 8 times the quantity integral of x dx is x square over 2. Have the exponent here, which is 1, and then 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 over 2. So, para mas madali, kopyahin nyo, yung, kopyahin nyo lang sa denominator itong exponent. Okay? And then, plus c. So, 8 cancel yung 8 saka 2, so magiging 4 siya, x square plus c. Next example number 2, integral of negative 10 x square dx. So, integral of negative 10 x square dx, ilalabas natin yung negative 10. Okay? So, kapag may nakita kayong negative sa integrand, ilabas nyo lang siya. So, negative 10 integral of x square dx is equal to negative 10 times. So, yung 2, pag plus ka lang ng 1. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then, kopyahin, yung, kopyahin siya sa denominator. Kaya, x cube over 3 and then plus arbitrary constant c is equal to, so wala naman tayong makakancel. So, we have negative 10 x cube over 3 plus c. Next example number 3, evaluate integral of 3x cube plus 5x minus 8 dx. So, dito, pag iiwaiwalayin natin ang bawat term. So, kukunin natin ang integral ng bawat term dito. Integral of 3x cubed dx. Ito yung first term natin. Integral of 5x dx. The second term. Integral minus integral of 8 dx. Ito naman yung third term. So, ilalabas yung constant. So, 3 integral of x cubed dx plus dito ilalabas din 5 integral of x dx minus 8 integral of dx. And then, we have 3 times integral of x cubed dx is x to the 4th over 4. So, since the exponent is 3, mag plus ka lang ng 1, kaya x to the 4th, and then kopyahin siya sa denominator. Plus 5 times, ang exponent nito ay 1, kaya 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So, x square over 2 minus 8 integral of dx is x, and then plus c. So, here, wala naman tayong makakancel, kaya nasamayin lang natin siya. 3x to the 4th over 4 plus 5x square over 2 minus 8x plus c. Next, number 4, evaluate integral of quantity uh, square root of x plus cube root of x dx. Uh, dahil siya ay sum of two terms, kailangan nating paghiwalayin. So, integral of square root of x dx plus integral of cube root of x dx. So, dahil siya ay uh, radicals, so kailangan natin siyang i-change into exponential form. So, we have integral of x raised to 1 half dx, ito yung square root of x, plus integral of x raised to 1 third dx. So, ito yung x, ito yung cube root of x. So, bakit natin sila na-change? Para magamit natin yung formula number 2, kung saan magpa-plus tayo ng 1 dito. Okay, so this will become uh, x raised to 1 half plus 1, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, over 1 half plus 1. Kukopya lang naman natin siya sa denominator, plus x raised to 1 third plus 1 over 1 third plus 1 plus c. So, 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. So, this will become x raised to 3 halves over 3 halves plus yung 1 third plus 1 is 4 thirds. So, x raised to 4 thirds over 4 thirds plus c. So, this is equal to, i-reciprocal yung 3 halves kaya naging 2 thirds. So, 2x raised to 3 halves over 3 plus reciprocal ng 4 thirds is 3 fourths and then x raised to 4 thirds plus c. Next, example number 5, evaluate integral of x plus 2 over x cubed dx. So, since yung given is hindi naman agad-agad natin magagamitan ng basic integration formulas, kailangan natin siyang i-manipulate. Okay, so paano natin siya i-manipulate? Paghihiwalayin natin siya. 
So this will become integral of x over x cubed plus 2 over x cubed. Okay? So kapag pinagsama natin itong dalawang ito, magiging ganito siya. Okay? dx. So we have integral of x over x cubed is 1 over x squared dx plus integral of 2 over x cubed. Okay? Pinaghiwalay ko na siya and then dx. So itong dalawang ito is pinaghiwalay ko na sa part na ito. Kasama na yung naisimplify ko yung x over x cubed. So this is equal to integral of x to the negative 2 dx plus 2 integral of x to the negative 3 dx. Okay, so bakit nangyari ito? Itinaas ko yung uh, itinaas ko yung x squared at x cubed with a negative exponent para magamitan natin siya ng formula number 2. Okay? So from here we have uh, integral of x to the negative 2 dx is x to the negative 1 over negative 1. Bakit nangyari ito? So, nag-plus tayo rito ng 1. So, negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 is x to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus 2 times integral ng x to the negative 3 dx is x to the negative 2. Dahil meron tayo rito ng negative 3 plus 1, kaya nagkaroon ng negative 2 over negative 2 plus c. So, we have x to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus 2 times x to the negative 2 over negative 2 and then plus c. So, mula rito, kailangan natin siyang isulat with positive exponent. Kaya, meron tayong negative 1 over x minus, cancel ito. Okay, so, kaya meron minus 1 over x square. Ito'y binaba natin with a positive exponent plus c. Okay, ngayon, kapag ka ang ating given is integral of 1 over x, Okay, so integral of 1 over x dx. So kapag itataas natin yung, negative, yung x, magiging integral of x to the negative 1 siya, diba? dx. Okay, so kapag ganito yung given, hindi natin ma-apply yung formula number 2. Dahil kapag nag-plus tayo ng 1 dito, is magiging 0. So x raised to 0 over 0. So, dahil dyan, hindi natin magagamit yung formula number 2. Okay? So, dahil ang integral of 1 over x dx is a different form. Okay? So, ito ay, ay integral leading to logarithmic function, which is discuss natin sa mga susunod na lesson. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you'll learn a lot. Goodbye!